every teacher in this city, every teacher in this state, every teacher in this country should be able to perform their job without the fear of being violently attacked at work. And that's B. Ivory Lamar, an attorney for the family of former Dallas ISD staffer Sharla Sims. They're speaking out and demanding answers about alleged circumstances they believe led up to the special education teaching assistant's death in January 2021. She was actually punched um, and thrown into a bookshelf repeatedly. According to a federal lawsuit the family recently filed, Sims was working at Spruce High School when a special education student described as a very large 17 year old with significant behavioral and learning disabilities violently attacked her. Court documents say Ms. Sims screamed in intense pain, unable to stop the attack as others looked on helplessly. Attorneys say there were at least three other documented assaults involving that student. Kirk Clanch also represents Sims' family. DISD knew of the danger. They were well aware of it and had been, but they didn't address it. Attorneys say the 56-year-old teaching assistant saw the school nurse after the attack and went home. They say doctors discovered a tear in her aorta, and she suffered continued pain to the point she couldn't move. Doctors realized that this was essentially a fatal situation. Sims died three days after the attack. Her children and family say they only found out about the incident a few months ago after a former Dallas ISD employee blew the whistle about administration's alleged failed actions. It's like you're hiding something. It's way too long. Everybody, everybody want to know what happened. We want justice now, mm -hmm. period. Charlotte Sims' family is now seeking $20 million in damages while demanding significant changes in classrooms. And right now, Dallas ISD is not offering up any comment on this case. They say it's against policy to speak on pending litigation. In Dallas, I'm Damon Fernandez.